I wanted to do a quick update on the running because so many people have been asking me about it. So um, back in November I committed to making a start and that was my commitment to making a change to the amount of exercise I was doing and being more aware of my portion size. So that continued through November and then halfway through December both my husband and I decided that we were going to start running. Um, I think mainly because of there were so few obstacles into starting running it was a good excuse for us to get out um, and spend some time together. He's an awful lot faster than I am and I did find that um, he was leaving me behind a good bit. Um, and that's okay, I had headphones and it was grand. But we were aware that there was a really, really good running club in the town. And the running club are known as the Budbrick and Roadrunners and they're really, really fantastic. Um, they're really supportive, it's completely free. So we meet on Tuesday nights and on Thursday nights. We meet at 7.30 down in the church um, car park and we all head out. We normally do about 5K. Uh, I think the first night we did 4K. Um, I thought I was going to like collapse. Um, they've all been fantastically supportive and encouraging. Whoops. Um, and that has made a big difference to um, deciding to continue with running because every Tuesday and every Thursday night there's always a smiley face, there's always somebody there. No matter how bad the weather is, there's always other nuts who are prepared to turn up along with us. Um, and Back in December anyway, my husband had taken the decision that he was going to run Dublin City Marathon in October 2018. I don't know if it's like a midlife crisis thing. We were actually talking about it yesterday. It's not really that, even if it is a midlife crisis thing, like there's far worse midlife crises, 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 crises. there's far worse things we could be doing. Um, and we straight away committed that we'd start doing some runs and start training together for the marathon. It's been an awful lot easier on both of us to have one another, to encourage one another along. There's been times where we've felt like not going out and like there's been once or twice where I felt like not going out and he's kind of gone gone and hooshed me out the door and vice versa. Um, we've had bad, bad nights where we've um, basically crawled in the front door and had to fall in the shower and into bed. The first four weeks were torture. And I'm not gonna, you know, sugarcoat it. They were really, really bad. Trying to adjust to running at least twice a week and walking at least 5K on alternate days, it was really just incredibly difficult. It was very hard for our bodies to adapt. I found it particularly hard. He was just, he, he would do an awful lot more manual labor than I would. I work in offices most of the time. Um, but then in terms of stamina, I would have more stamina than he would because I'd be used to work, work, walking longer distances because he drives more than I do. And we decided we'd enter our first 5K and that was in the middle of February. It was in Termenfecken and it snowed on the day. It was absolutely awful, absolutely dire. I ended up with my friend Adele and we walked around and we were just so happy just to get it completed. She is an extremely experienced, and um, she's an incredible woman so I was really really lucky to have her with me on the day and last week then well back on St Patrick's Day we did a 10k run a local 10k run in aid of Bulbrigan Cancer Support I loved it I really really loved the 10k distance and I was delighted with with my speed I had set myself a goal of doing better than I had done in the women's mini marathon two and a half years ago so two and a half years ago I had run the women's mini marathon on behalf of my sister um, she had a number and she wasn't able to take it up at the last minute and I had done it in 88 minutes. So when I undertook to do the Belbrigan Cancer Support um, 10k I said that I wanted to do better than that and I did. I did it in five minutes faster so I did it in 83 minutes. So for me that was a personal best. Um, and the training continues. We're still going out for doing five kilometers twice a week at least. Um, we're now trying to fit in a longer run at the weekends and over the next couple of months we'll fit in a good few 10 kilometer runs in the wind up to Dublin City Marathon. I've got a big birthday coming up this year, I'm not um, shy to admit, um, and I feel really excited by the idea that I will be fitter than I have been in a long time. Um, I have lost a lot of weight but that's been kind of a peripheral benefit in many ways. I haven't set out to lose oodles of weight. I Obviously I am overweight um, 
but what I have set out is to improve on my fitness. So I've lost close to two stone now at this stage since the middle of December, which is an awful lot of weight. Um, I actually noticed yesterday when I was out and about, I was wearing a tracksuit that I had bought a couple of weeks ago. Um, and it was extremely comfortable, but I did feel like I was wearing clothes that were three sizes too big for me. And I've already ditched my clothes in size 18. They're just swimming on me, they're just too big. So I'm kind of somewhere between a size 14 and a size 16 at the moment. Um, and it feels nice to be wearing clothes that fit me and it's not even wearing clothes that fit me. Do you know what it is? It's feeling for the first time in I don't know how long, in fact, maybe ever, that I'm comfortable in my own skin. I don't feel like I have to show off like weight loss or, or what I'm wearing or, or how I look. I feel comfortable in myself. I, I'm i not concerned about how I look. It's more this, this feeling. I'm, on the days where I have a run, I sleep really well. Um, I have an awful lot more energy and energy was something that I was having a really major issue with this time last year. Um, I, I've, I've taken on more work and when I took it on I was extremely daunted at the idea of taking on more work. Um, but I'm managing to fit it in, fingers crossed knock on wood, <laughs> um, and I just feel happier in myself than I have done in a long, long time. The last year was incredibly, incredibly difficult on us as a family. There was a couple of things that went on. I've not made any secret of the fact that we had problems with the bank um, and we were caught up in the tracker mortgage scandal. Um, and I've also not made any secret of the fact that, that we lost two really, really beloved members of our family last year. Anyway, I'm after tearing up there. Uh, but that's that's a real reason for me to get back to fitness and to take a look at what I'm doing and the message that I'm giving to my own kids anyway it's not a epiphany kind of it's not a you should do this it's not this is um, a personal thing but so many people have been asking me about it that I figured it, the easiest thing to do would be to share it in a video and share with you uh, the journey that I've been going on so in the background the kids are in their bedroom trying to crash in and my husband's in the syndrome um so yeah so listen i'd be really interested to hear if you are running what sort of runs you're doing if you've got any tips for preparation for the marathon um if you've got any tips for fitting in running around a busy family or around work for me my biggest tip is just get out and do it um, just take the minutes when you can take the moments when you can um and um just go you don't always have to have the best run of your life when you go out for a run. You don't have to be the fastest. You don't have to um, feel the best afterwards. You just have to get out and do it. So, um, yeah, that's it. <laughs>